Now that we went in, we got this part done. All right, so the goal is, I wanna to try to keep it as close as possible, okay. okay? So when I'm pinning, I'm using the French pins. These are like my favorites, okay? The U-shaped French pin. So what I'm doing is I'm going into, I'll go here, I'll start here. All right, so everything's here. Pulling it up as close as possible. I still see some little errors here that I can fix. It's a little bit of hair. You are really one of those candidates with a lot of hair. Mm -hmm. So I can cut these little corners off because you don't need them. Okay. okay. Moving that really close. All right, I'm making sure that I bring this up really close really close and the goal is to get it under the wig cap. So I go put the pin in first, forward, pull it forward and scooch it in. You feel the difference? It's mm. under the wig cap. Oops, sorry. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I'm doing it again. So I start here up at the top temple. Then I move to right where the eye temple is. I do a tuck and roll. Put the pin, two pins in, two pins forward, and under the wig cap is where I'm trying to go, okay? Same thing here, I always do three, just to give you a reference. One, two, three, okay? Put the pin in, and do a tuck, and roll. You feeling it going right up underneath that wig cap, and then look at that, voila. And it makes it really, really thin. You see? It really, really flat, rather. So if you wanted to do that, you see, friend? How natural that looks. <laughs> you see? 